Ice Hogs open up their two-game weekend set against the Cleveland Monsters starting tonight out at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Joseph Zakrzewski with you alongside head coach Derek King for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game. And Well, Coach King, last time we caught up to you on Tuesday, uh, a lot has changed, it feels like, since then. Defenseman Dennis Gilbert called up to Chicago. You get defenseman Ian McCaution in from a trade for the Blackhawks and the Florida Panthers organizations. How do you feel like that back line is going to change up a little bit or, or fit with McCaution coming in and losing a mobile guy like Dennis Gilbert? Well, obviously, McCaution coming in is going to help us, definitely. But uh, losing uh, Bert is uh, not going to help us too much. But uh, it's good. It's, it gives the guys opportunity to step up, uh, get a little extra ice time, and maybe put in positions where they maybe wouldn't be when uh, Gilbert's in the lineup. So I'm looking forward to see uh, Kosher play, and you know we're all wishing uh, Bert good luck. Well, with him, Ian McCaution coming in, that is, he's only gotten, what, yesterday's practice day and today's morning skate, I'm sure. A lot of communication between uh, you and him in terms of what you expect to him. He's a fourth-year pro, so he, he knows how to adjust rather quickly, but what are you expecting of him so soon getting into the lineup against Cleveland? Well, I think he's just going to play a, a simple, solid game. That's his game, right? He, he, he moves the puck well. He plays a, more of a grinding physical game, so uh, that'll be, help us in the back end. But. Overall, I you know he's four-year pro. He's played some NHL games. He knows what to do out there. We don't have to throw too much uh, systems or structure at him. Let him just go play and feel it. Well, the Ice Hogs and Cleveland Monsters opening up their weekend set here tonight. And of course, the tale of of what these teams present on paper is that the Ice Hogs, young, inexperienced group, whereas Cleveland seems to be the exact opposite. Good few bunches of veterans on that side, as well as players that have just flat out been in the Cleveland Columbus organization for a while. How do you feel like that will transpire on the ice with with their knowledge of, of each other versus the Ice Hawks still feeling things out a little bit so early in the season? Well, we're we're young and we're gung-ho, and um, I'm, I'm hoping we bring that young energy to the game, and that's what we have to do. Um, you know, they're they're obviously a good hockey team. they got some good uh, older guys that's played the game, and, and they're they're good, good hockey players. So we just can't worry about what they have. We just got to worry about how we play, manage the puck, win the lines, and uh, see how we make out. Well, that gung honus, as you say, probably has to be at a, at a pretty high level right now. I know it's been a week since the Ice Hogs last were in action against Chicago, but a pair of wins probably certainly helps the cause, the atmosphere in the locker room, the mood out there in practice even today. And, and yesterday I saw a lot of smiles and a lot of excitement ready for a new weekend. Yeah, we are. I think when you have success like that against a rivalry like the Wolves, and they're a good hockey team, uh, you know, you can't wait to get back on the ice and start playing games. Uh, it's too bad we didn't couldn't throw like another game in there right after. But uh, you know we're we're ready to go. I, I like the way we practice. I like the way we worked on some stuff, and you know we'll see what happens. And now the Ice Hawks focusing in on Cleveland. You mentioned that you're kind of internally keeping things in mind. But what does Cleveland present? They have a new head coach this year. They have some some new faces, but a lot of returning guys. But there's always changes in stylings and systems. How do you feel the Ice Hawks will play and, and adjust to what Cleveland might present? Well, we're not worried about what Cleveland's going to do. We're just worried about how we approach the game, and uh, that's the big thing with us. Uh, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to play like most teams. You know, the neutral zone, the four checks, always usually the same. Uh, it's the more thing is just our special teams. Maybe our power play starts to get hot. We've had some good looks lately, and our PK has been doing a good job. We just, you know, stay out of the box, and uh, like I said, we just win the lines and uh, play with some speed and some gusto, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, you brought up the buzzword, and that was seemed to be the the main focus of practice yesterday was working with the man advantage or the penalty kill. What have you seen change? Any mentalities change, or maybe systems starting to click in with guys? How did you feel like those practices went in regards to special teams and, and hoping to see it translate on the ice in, in game time? Well, they're always hard to practice. Uh, you know, it's not like game like. But I, I liked the way we worked, and uh, we kind of talked to them about simplifying it, getting more shots, pucks to the net, crowding the net. But the big thing with us is uh, when we're in zone, be a little selfish and shoot the puck a little more. We're, we're, we're looking for the, you know, when you don't score for a while, you're looking for the nice tap-in play and so we can get one. But we, we just got to simplify it, get a little greasy goal here, and uh, hopefully that will help us. And with that mentality, how much do you turn to players like a Dylan Secura, a Tyler Secura? They have five of your first 11 goals so far this season, so it's probably an easy message to send to them to, hey, put the puck on net, and it seems like good things are happening when they do. Yeah, and the message to them, and, and they know what to do. It's the message, uh, if they do it, hopefully everybody else follows. But the message to everybody, even five on five, uh, is get pucks to the net. Uh, you know, the puck's got to get get to the net to go in, so why not throw some there and see what happens. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. All right, thank you. Head Coach Derek King, join us for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game as the Ice Hawks kick off their weekend set against the Cleveland Monsters. Let's get you to the action. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks Hockey on the Ice Hawks Broadcast Network.